As the motorcade made its way from Angola, people in Elkhart, especially those on Conrad Street, where the beam would pass, made sure they had a good spot to see a piece of history. The one piece rep represents so much, and we brought all of our grandkids, our kids out, because it's just, it's important. The state police led the way, giving updates to the people trying to manage the legions of motorcycles traveling to town. The first numbers that came in were 1,000 bikes to 10,000, which really didn't help us that well. Um, just got an update of over 10,000 bikes. I, mean, I don't think it's stressful. I, I think it's important that, that the public not forget what happened 10 years ago. And the people were there to remember as the bikes and the beam arrived. I'm at the corner of County Road 6 and 17 in Elkhart. The beam just passed us. The procession is obviously still going. They say it still stretches all the way out to Middlebury. As the bikes roared by, people enjoyed the show. But the mood turned solemn as the ceremony bringing the beam home began. This steel beam stands as a precious reminder of over 3,000 innocent lives that were lost on that bright, sunny September morning, 2001. Some had no memory of that awful day. They were too young. But this beam will be there to keep them from forgetting the horror and the pride they have for their country and community. It feels special that how we got, just our little town got this big of history. The beam had finished its long journey. The bikers who'd brought it, like Todd Sowers, could go home. He had traveled with the beam from Defiance, Ohio, over 100 miles. I'm a veteran and uh I got uh, friends that's overseas, and I believe uh, this is the thing I needed to do today. The flag was folded, and a final salute was given. <laughs> and one town in Indiana received a solid steel promise that they'll never forget September 11th.